Ich suche Ihren Photographer Zatotskis online portfolio. I am not sure if she is one woman or two. Sometimes I think I know the answer, other times not so certain. You can never be too sure about Russian women. She once had a cat named Schwartz, which is German name for what means black. She was a secular humanist, a materialist, but also a mystic. The black cat, she believed, had a keen awareness of her emotional state and was also in touch with sensory dimensions that reach far beyond human awareness. She did not like the government. She hated commercials even worse. I cannot begin to tell you how foolish I think she was to take in that young man. He believed in the atheism of Lenin and the Christian mysticism of Tolstoy. It was wrong of her to have slept with a man whose sensibilities were so much like her own, especially a man who was so young. The young man looked like Trotsky, but with green eyes, green as her cat's eyes. She told him about her uncle, who was a uh, conservative. Her uncle lived by the Black Sea. In the summer, while in his house, which had no air conditioning, he would wear no shirt. When he went outside, he wore black woolen pants, a white linen shirt, and a wide brimmed hat. The young man made love to her that night. Revolutionary thought is first articulated in deserts or arctic wastelands, he told her. But he was too young to know that everything is always forgotten, then comes back again. Hot thought, no matter how fervent, cannot melt ice. Old age teaches you that you must never forget what you can't remember. They made love like they knew that it would be their first time and their last time together. St. Petersburg became Leningrad, then became St. Petersburg again. A statue of the risen Christ, which was confiscated by the Stalinist regime, was discovered in a bunker, but the Russian Orthodox clergy declined to exhibit the statue in public. The features of Christ looked too much like those of Vladimir Lenin. When she awakened that morning, she found herself in his armpit. She was comfortable and did not move. When he awakened, <laughs> he found that her cat had defecated in his shoe. Ha! <laughs> he became very angry. She told him to leave. And after he stomped out of her house, she never saw him again. She kept the cat and loved it more than ever before.